22 RC private physics exam paper 2. Now the first question has to do with projectile motion. Now I would say that if you are preparing for any WIEC physics paper, any topic that has to do with motion, take it very serious. Linear motion, projectile motion, vertical motion, simple harmonic motion. Take all of them seriously. I expected to find the value of S, which is the range. The range from this point to that point. So the second one is has to do with photoelectric effect. Photoelectric effect. This is one topic you should also give so much attention to. Um, that's number three. Nuclear physics, atomic physics. I'll talk about it later. I will find out that even though you have this question, a question on it in the compose, we also have another one in the section B. I mean the optional part where you can choose. Well, not the section B actually. Now, I was already talking about motion, questions that have to do with motion. Now you can see over here, aside knowing the, knowing it, knowing how to solve it and so on, knowing definitions, explanations and so on, you should also be able to prove the formulas. Because with the motion topics, if you can't prove the formulas, some of the questions might be very challenging to solve. Very, very challenging. Now, question five has to do with um, young modulus, stress, strain, and so on. This is a topic you should always expect. You should always expect in your physics paper, my physics paper. Question six, the state, the B says what states to disadvantage of how wave rectification. So I deal with the wave over here as well. Now question seven has to do with magnetism. Magnetism. So the orientation of diamagnet substance to a strong magnetic field, factors that affect magnetism, paramagnetic substances, and then one use of ferromagnetic materials. So we are done with the compulsory parts. And we are looking at the optional. Question eight says that um, a sphere held at the surface of a column of water is released to fall through the water. These are the forces that act on the sphere. So this one has to do with force. And question 8b has to do with um, density. We need the density of the wood, density of water. This is a cube of wood, 0.3 centimeter fluid. Then let's find the distance. Okay. So question 8c again has to do with motion. So I told you about topics that have to do with motion. Take them very serious. And here you are expected to sketch a velocity time graph for the following motion. A body projected vertically upwards and then returns to the projection, point of projection. And then an oscillating pendulum moving from maximum displacement to equilibrium position. Then the D again has to be motion. Motion, very, very important. Don't, don't joke with your motion. Make sure you've mastered them. I'll say that if you have not if you are not master the motion or the motion topics, know how to prove the formulas, the diagrams, and so on, you are not ready. So, number nine here has to do with heat. Heat, the whole of number nine has to do with heat. <laughs> then, here you are asked to calculate the steady temperature, that's for the B. Then the C has to do with three reasons why water is unsuitable as a thermometric liquid. Why water cannot be used in a thermometer. Then the D as well has to do with heat. Heat. Then question 10 has to do with light, mag angular magnification. So you are supposed to find the focal length here and the name of the type of thin lens used as read in the question. Then the B here has to do with sound. And you see over here again, another question on simple harmonic motion. Again, in the question 10 C. Question 11 A has to do with magnets. Magnet and 11b. I mentioned to you that nuclear physics, atomic physics, it was in the compulsory, and we are finding it here again. It is one topic you need to master. Like, if you are going to write physics, white paper, electric physics, don't joke with your nuclear physics and atomic physics. I think it's the last topic found in the textbooks. So, um, the C here has to do with electricity, that's induction, coil, then the D also has to do with electricity. And you can see a question 12 again. Nuclear physics, atomic physics. Again, state two peaceful uses of nuclear reactions. 
then you have your nuclear physics here again. That's a B. You're supposed to plot a graph, calculate the decay constant, and use the graph to determine the half-life. Okay, so 12C. I think my point on learning atomic physics and nuclear physics is very, very clear. You can see it again. You can see it find the term nuclear binding energy. Click on the image by my channel name to see more videos which I make.